Welcome to another Photoshop tutorial by photoshopeducation.blogspot.com. Today we are going to talk about the brightness and the contrast adjustment and the exposure adjustment. In the previous tutorials we actually talked about the auto adjustments, the level adjustments, the, the curve adjustments. All of these are enhancement tools or adjustments in Photoshop to make your image look good. Not one tool is perfect for each photo, so you're going to have to play around with what works for you for that specific photo. Before we get going, go ahead and scroll down to the bottom of the post and you'll see an image called Download Supporting Files. Left click on that and you'll download this PE-Ducks image, which we have used in the past, so you might already have it. Either way, go ahead and open it up and once it's opened, you'll find this image of these two ducks and it's kind of washed out and before before we get into the actual Photoshop part we want to talk the basic terminology that we're going to go over today and this is about the simplistic terms that we can come up with uh, there are much better definitions of these terms on the web but the first one is what is an overexposed picture people talk about overexposure well that basically means the image is too light. This image is overexposed. There was, if you look at the grass, you'll notice that it's too light. Well, on, the, the opposite of overexposure is underexposure. Underexposure is meaning that it's too dark. The next area we want to talk about is what is an exposure. Exposure actually is when on a camera, the basic is, and a terminology is, or definition is that it takes the shutter speed and the aperture and tries to come up with a good image, a, uh, the brightness and the contrast of the image. You don't need to know what shutter speed is, you don't need to know what aperture is, but just know that the exposure is trying to make your image look better. Well, there's going to be a few more terms that we're going to talk about here a little bit later, uh, but let's go ahead and get into this left click on image and come down to move your mouse down to adjustments and you'll see the sub menu left click on brightness and contrast the first thing you'll notice is in this dialog box is this preview is should be checked off this allows you to see the changes as you you adjust the brightness and the contrast well what is the brightness well the brightness is the the lightness and the darkness of the image the contrast is a it's it's how how it moves from the darkness to lightness or lightness to darkness is really makes up the contrast there's two ways to adjust this first of all each section here is if you left click on this text box you can actually enter a numeric value for the brightness down here would be the value for the contrast or you can use these slider which sliders which is much easier to use and all you do is hold down the left mouse button over this up arrow and drag it left to right and you'll notice it changes as as we move the slider but for this one we'll leave it as round 20 negative 22 contrast we'll crank that up to 100 and just show you that you can actually make a change in here let's make uh, this one negative uh, 25 and if you're following along with the printout or the PDF file or the on the website, the actual documentation, we are following this the, to the T, so uh, it will make it easier to follow along. And we left click on OK, and that will apply the changes. Left click, click on Cancel if you're not happy with the changes, and you'll notice right away that here's the original, here's the modified looks substantially better. Let's get into exposure and we'll use the history palette and change that back to the original or you could reopen the image. The next area is the exposure. Left click on image and menu and left click, I mean not just hover over the adjustments and come down to exposure. Left click on this exposure command and open this dialog box. A few areas we want to show you, which we won't want to rehash from 
previous tutorials, but there are presets that you can use. These are predefined uh, functions or uh, settings in Photoshop that allows you to change the exposure real quickly. And then you have the eyedroppers, the dark for the dark eyedropper, the midtones, and even the, the the highlights or the whites of the image. It's much easier in the in the curve adjustments we talked about using the these eyedroppers. They do a wonderful job there. Here it's a little bit tougher. It's a little bit easier to actually use these sliders. Once again, you have uh, the sliders which allow you to move it back and forth, uh, left to right. You have the text box, same as the brightness and the contrast. You want to make sure that the preview is actually checked off so you can actually see it as it changes. And how you do this is just hold down the left mouse and maybe we want to, that looks a little bit too dark, that looks pretty good. Um, we'll just leave it there. You would think, there we go. And what is the exposure? Well, we talked about the exposure on this screen. It, it, on this dialog box, it actually changes the darkness and the lightness. It's kind of the brightness, we'll say, of the exposure. The offset is controls more of the shadows and the highlights of the image. And we can move this and you got to do really fine tune here and we'll that looks good and the gamma correction gamma correction is going to be kinda like your contrast of the image and on that one we'll, we'll actually crank this to about 1.26 and doing fine adjustments that looks good now if you want to follow along with the actual tutorial, on the actual tutorial, written tutorial, we did this as point, I mean not point two five, we did this as, as point two four, and the offset, we did this as zero point, negative zero point zero, I know how to type, it would be great, seven, one four, I believe, and this one uh, gamma was one point two six. So if you're following along, if you left click, there's your final image uh, with the written tutorial. Once again, here's the open uh, of the original image, and here is the exposure. Looks a lot better. The key thing here is it's not going to be one tool that's going to fix it perfectly uh, in Photoshop you're going to have to play around with the levels, you're going to play around with the curves or even the auto adjustments do a good job and the exposures and the brightness and the contrast each one does a specific task or fixes a specific problem in Photoshop yes you could go into curves you can do a lot of the the fixes there but that will only make it look great or excellent if you want to make it perfect there's a lot of tips and tricks that we've put into the tutorials written tutorials we recommend that you read those hope you enjoyed this tutorial feel free to scroll to the bottom of the post and take the 10 question quiz and have a wonderful day thank you bye